Hello, it's your boy back. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, I just reached 750 followers on Twitch. Actually, I'm a little bit past that right now, but my main point is that I've reached a milestone and I'm very, very happy where I am right now. So it, with that, I held a stream on my Twitch channel, which was a Q&A stream and a debut of my VTuber model. So it is pretty damn good, if I do say, courtesy of Grim, who made this model for me, with the help of DD as well. They've been working on this model in the background without me even asking. And I have this model now, which is amazing. But also I held a Q&A, which I was asked plenty of random and very horny questions in there, which I've all strung together right now, which is gonna be playing right now. So Fudge, my question is why the username Mix Fudge? All night I have wanted to ask the bloody question, but because I am super fucking curious. Ah, uh, okay. So there is a uh, legacy the name Mix Fudge. So when I was a wee fudgy boy, I pretty much <laughs> fucking hell. Holy dick, my man. Jesus Christ, my ears. Ah! Uh, okay, anyway. So anyway, when I was a young fudgy boy, I pretty much... I had a dispensing bottle of fudge. Like, it was like liquid fudge. Oh, for fuck. God... That's gonna happen to you after stream, Will uh, Grim, I swear to God. But alright, uh, no. Uh, when I was a wee fudge boy, I had a dispensing bottle of what had fudge written on the label of, like, to dispense, like, chocolate sauce, pretty much. And, uh, I, I, like, I literally, like, have that shit by itself. That, I, I, that was the shit, chat. That was the shit. And, um, what, then I got an Xbox, uh, then I got a PlayStation, and it asked me to create a name. <laughs> it asked me to create a name. So I'm like, well, okay, how about I make fudge? Why not? So I made fudge. Fudge was taken. So of course I made Fudge 24. And then I went to Xbox, Fudge 24 was taken. So I made Fudge 25. So I'm like, brilliant. And then I went to YouTube and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to be, I don't have a number of my name on YouTube. So I went for Mixed Fudge. So no, I don't want, I don't want a number of my name for YouTube. So I went for just, yeah, Mixed Fudge. And then I went to Twitch and Mixed Fudge stuck. Uh, Jubilance, have you, have you ever wanted to get with a friend's a friend's sibling slash parents. Um, yeah, yeah. I'd fuck Daddy West's dad. <laughs> Sorry, Shira and Aizawa. You're the first two. Uh, do you watch other VTubers other than Grim? This is my question. Fair enough. So that's a pretty good question. And actually, to answer that question, I do. But I don't watch them through Twitch too often, if I'm being honest. I usually watch their catch-ups on YouTube chat. I don't have a lot of time to watch people on that current point in time to watch them then. But I do watch uh, Nyanas. Nyanas is my favorite VTuber currently right now, actually. I really, really do love Nyanas. Her energy is just, I love it to a T. So if I were to answer that question, I'd probably say Nyanas. I'm a Hololive shrimp. God damn it. Don't call me a Hololive shrimp. She's a really funny person. Last point in my life for health would probably be a couple of different times. So when I was born, I had, uh, I was like, how do I put this? I don't know the actual call of the name of the, of the actual uh, degenerative, degenerative like health condition, but I have, was born like a mini stove oven chat. I was super, super, super fucking hot. So as in my brain would melt if they didn't keep me cool. I would have like strokes if they didn't keep me cool. And like my, my organs would be in trouble if they didn't keep me cool. So for about a period of around about three weeks after I was born, I was in a super, super hot state and I was always in a, a point of being able to die because my my body temp was way above average. So so I was the furnace, I was a little furnace. I had to keep me in a bath with uh, lukewarm water for a long period of time there. But aside from that, I had appendicitis um, not too long ago and that could have ruptured and that nearly ruptured which could have killed me as well. But that was removed, so I'm totally fine. So I'm, I'm a-okay chat now. Do you have feet? I have feet, chat. If you look hard enough, there is an NFT of my feet on the market. It has been approximated a hundred bucks. There's an NFT of my feet made by Izoa. Willow owns an NFT of my feet. It is out there. If you need it, you can find it. My feet are out there. How tall are you? Do you think I'm taller or shorter? Also guess my height, please. So I am six foot tall on the dot chat. So I, in person, I am six foot tall, six foot tall on the dot. But how tall do I think, how, are you taller or shorter than me? I think you might be taller than me, uh, considering you're asking a height question. And if I were to guess, I probably think you're 6'3". A few moments later. 
Spot on. God damn. 6-3? Oh, shit. Really? Fucking damn, Dropperty. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's go. That's fucking sick. What kind of music do you like? Okay, for my music, the music I have in the background here is kind of like more of a chill music. But the music that I like to listen to, dance electro or like electro house. So that's what I like to listen to. More of your upbeat sort of um, dubstep sort of music. That's what I like to listen to. That's generally my, my jam. Fuck, kill or marry. Adele, Beyonce, and Michael Jackson. Uh, I would fuck Beyonce, uh, I would kill Michael Jackson, and I'd marry Adele. That's probably how I'd do it, chat. I'm sorry. That, that, that would be how I'd do it. I'd fuck Beyonce, I'd kill Michael Jackson, and I'd marry Adele. That would be how I'd do it. Never mind. Uh, if I were to change one thing about myself, what would it be and why? Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. To most people in chat, you probably know I'm a pretty content individual. Uh, I was in the early days, you were. I'm a pretty content individual, so I don't really have a lot of gripes with how I am right now. I'm actually pretty happy. So, if I were to change one thing about myself and why I would change one thing about myself, it would probably be my um, pressure I put on myself, maybe? Uh, where I, I pretty much like co co common gripe. Streamer puts pressure on himself to put like to make shit come out. Common gripe. He puts pressure on himself to make things happen. Oh, this is this is a common thing. Yeah. So that that honestly, it's pretty much it. So like I I put pressure on myself to make thing make uh make the stream like in, in great. And I'm, I'm I'm very high monitoring of the numbers and I'm constantly looking at other people and rating things around me. And I, I take in too much sometimes and I don't think about the so, the narrow picture of myself. So that's probably the one gripe I, I do not like. How do you start your Twitch and first stream? I, mean, I think that's what you're trying to say. So in, in that saying, how do I start my Twitch and my first stream? So my first um, streaming game was uh, Payday 2. And my, how do I start off my first stream? Honestly, if I'm being 100% honest chat, it was really, really shit. Really shit content. Really shit content. So much that I was playing on really, really piss poor internet. So for, re for retrospect, I had around about... Uh, what was it? I think it had 200 uh, megabytes as, as a high at one point in time. That was my highest point was 200 megabytes. So no, two megabytes. Two megabytes, chat. Two megabytes was my high, not 200. Two megabytes was my high. It's the highest I ever got. And it was really, really bad. So you couldn't really make out the gameplay. It was very glitchy, but at least I had content out there. And people saw that I was trying and they, they followed me for my personality. And that's how I started my stream. I played, I played a game that wasn't that big, had a bit of a cult following, and I played a lot of it. And that's what people joined me for. As well. But also, one of my biggest, be, um, be honest, Fudgy, my, one, of, one of my biggest insecurities. So... Probably, if I'm talking stream late insecurity chat, I'd probably say my follow account. That's probably my biggest insecurity. So anyone who overtakes me in followers, I'm automatically very insecure about that. And I'm like, damn, that like, I, what, what are they doing? What, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Well, how'd they do that? And I get like very anxious about that. That's probably like the numbers, if, if I were to say in um, streaming wise. Otherwise, outside of that, um... Probably my, my general work. I don't like showing projects that I'm working on chat until I'm finished because I, I, I'm insecure about how they look on the working process. But when I'm finished, I'm okay showing them. But like when I'm in the working process chat, I don't really like showing them because I'm insecure about what people think or how they're finished, how they're going to finish out. So probably that. Okay, bait question in front of the missus. What's the ideal cup size? <laughs> ah, the ideal cup size. I'd probably say a B. Maybe you see. Maybe you see. Maybe you see. Maybe, maybe like I mean, we all like the double D's chat, but like you gotta respect the girl for walking around with double D's. That's kind of hard. Cringiest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, ah shit. I, if I'm being dead set honest, if I'm being dead set honest, I was. There was one point in time where I was like a moody teen. I think I was around about the when I was in year nine chat. I was a moody teen. And for some reason, I think I was having the shittiest day. And there was people playing handball or some shit. And they kept uh, their balls kept falling into our like area where we were chilling. And then in the end, I just like played like big bully kid, picked up the ball, and I was way taller and bigger than the other kid, and I'm like, you know what, fuck you. Get your ball. And I pegged it across the other side of the yard, and I'm like, this is so edge. This is so cringe. I really wish I didn't do that, chat. I don't, I don't like Bully Fudge. Bully Fudge is cringe. I don't like that. Really wish I didn't do that, chat. That's probably one of the cringiest things I've done in my life. Favorite type of ice cream? Oh, hands down, chat. I am, I, I'm either chocolate or bubblegum. 
chocolate or bubble gum? Hands down. I'm either simple or I like bubble gum. That is it. That's it. Hands down, chat. Those are my flavors. Those are the flavors that I absolutely fucking love. What's your top two chocolates? Fair enough. My top two chocolates. Okay. You guys, you some of you may know this ice cream. Sorry, this, this chocolate called Marvelous Creations. I fucking love Cadbury Marvelous Creations. That's my number one chocolate. Cadbury Marvelous Creations. If not Cadbury Marvelous Creations, I'm probably going to say... Um, for a chocolate, probably going to be... Bubble mint, like those bubble mint ones. I can't remember what they're called. Bubble mint, uh, ch like those chocolate chocolate um, blocks. Bubble mint. I can't remember what they're called. Top three hentai tags. My top three hentai tags. Hmm. Um. If we're talking about hentai chat, uh, one would definitely be um. Probably, if I'm watching hentai, I'm probably watching more of the extreme shit, like tentacle shit, tentacle, tentacle crazy, like big, big cock shit. That's what I'm kind of watching. As well as probably uh, maybe lesbian as well and um, um, buckets of cum. Buckets of cum. I think it's probably I can't remember what the tag for it is, chat, but buckets of cum, pretty much. Anyway, that what the fuck. Um, do you like streaming? Okay, that's a really easy one to answer. So straightforward. If I want to give you a one one word answer, yes. But if I want to give you more of an answer, I'd probably say yes. I love streaming because. I consider it playing and interacting with people. The reason I started streaming chat for myself was mainly because I had friends, but they none of them were playing games with that. I had no one to play games with chat, and I was quite lonely at that point in time. So I really wanted to have games to play with. People to play games with people. So that's why I started streaming at the most point in time. I wanted people to play with. I wanted to have fun with other people. So that's why I started streaming. And um, did I expect the growth that I got? No, fuck no, no one does. And um, yeah, that's why I started streaming. And going forward, I play games that I do really enjoy streaming because I play the games that I want to play. That's why people ask me to play Fortnite or Roblox. I'm like, no, because I don't like playing those games. Okay, so what's your body count? Okay, um, let me think. Uh, uh, um, One eternity later. I'm pretty sure it's five. I think it's five, chat. I think it's five. I think. I mean, far as I can remember, chat, it's five. F uh, is fudge bad romantically? Can <laughs> I answer? Uh, it's bad romantically. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, voice or message? What? Oh, you voice it. Okay. Um... I'm gonna ruin your reputation here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, he's actually not. He's like a really big sweetheart and he probably doesn't show it on stream enough. That's cab. No, you are though. That's like you're not the biggest like romantic in the world action wise, but you do do a lot of like, little romantic things. Okay. Thank you, babe. <laughs> I'm ruining your. Wow. Wow. 